Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back here on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over. The Star Trek Online X feed, so on screen. Yes, captains, before we get into this video, as always, do us a huge favor and hit that like button. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to the YouTube bridge where we're always on the lookout for like minded captains to share our love, passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, with that said, here we go. Caps, we have some blogs to go over. So, as we normally do, we'll go over them, drop the two ECs, and then at the end, give our conclusion. So, first up, this weekend on Xbox and PlayStation is all about research and development and your duty officers get bonuses and save on packs so we'll go here to the blog r and d and junior officer weekend again get your bonuses to your research development projects and duty officer assignments this weekend on xbox and playstation and save on packs so we're pleased to announce the return of the research and development week this event will run from september 5th so as of this video this is already live up until September 9th and features several bonuses throughout Stowe that will give captains of all levels a leg up advancing their rank in the research and development schools of their choice. For captains looking specifically for extra help with their projects, all R&D packs throughout the game will give out an extra 25% of the items they currently disperse for the duration of this event. QRD material reward packages normal advanced and elite will reward 25% more R&D materials and have a chance to reward a catalyst. Alternatively, captains want to advance through research and development schools as fast as possible should seek out harvest nodes located in mission maps throughout Stowe, which will not only disperse two extra R&D materials, whoop de do each time that are used, but will also reward 10 dilithium ore. Ooh and have a chance to give out a R&D catalyst during this event. For all captains that work on a research development project during this event, those projects will reward an extra 50% of the appropriate research and development school XP. This includes projects to make components as well as those to make items. So again, this portion is already on from the 5th to the 8th. Another one here, so from the 5th to the 8th as well, we are running a special event where you can earn bonus commendation XP by completing any duty officer assignment. So some of you know that some of our paperwork slash resource gathering that we do over the years, duty officer doff doffing as also known is what we do to actually get in-game resources as of course when you level up and it's your the cap, you actually get extra dilithium. So that's kind of how we use it but I also use it mostly to get contraband because you can turn contraband in for, of course, dilithium ore. That's how we do it personally. So to those junior officers who work tirelessly in cramped Jeffrey's tubes, perish namelessly on away missions or provide the endless streams of reports and analysis necessary for a starship to function, this event is dedicated to you. During this event, you'll gain 50% increase in all commendation XP earned by completion of duty officer assignments. You don't need to do anything special for this bonus, it's automatic. Receive a free special purple quality duty officer with a unique active roster power by speaking with your duty officer contact. For Starfleet officers and Romulan allies, this is an engineering exocom duty officer. For KDF officers and Romulan allies, it is a Riemann duty officer. This is not available if you already claimed it the last time we ran an event. So I haven't had to claim this since years ago. <laughs> I did it once and that was it. Duty officer packs open during the event will each have a free additional green quality or better duty officer inside. This only applies to C-Store purchase packs, not to those awarded during rank up from recruitment assignments or mini packs. Also, it applies only to packs open during the event even if they are purchased prior to the event. So of course, the packs included in this offer are the Delta Alliance, the Gamma Quadrant, the Reinforcements Duty Officer Pack, Fleet Support, the Romulan Survivor, Fleet Support, Klingon, Empire, and Federation Duty Officer Packs. The Academy Particle Scanning events are now part of the Junior Officer Appreciation events. Visit Starfleet Academy or 
Klingon Academy during the event and speak to Professor Mayer or Commander Bitama. Make a cadet to train, then engage in scanning particles all about the Academy grounds. As you scan and capture particles, you'll help to train the cadet. In exchange, your faction will release a new random duty officer to you. The more particles you scan, the better quality of the officer you can claim. So here it is. So you scan five, you get a common, 25, an uncommon, 50, a rare, and 75, you get very rare. I have, I think, done this once. It's I don't find it fun or engaging personally, so I don't really go ahead and I don't go ahead and do it, to be honest with you, Caps. But if you want to do something different, change the pace, well, there you go. It is available. Remember, additional reserve roster duty officer slots in increments of 25 and 100 are available in the in-game C store for a maximum of 500 reserve roster spaces. Have fun trying to send too many duty officers to sick bay. In addition, two research and development packs will be available to captains for 20% off. Again, also, this is going to go from the 5th, but it goes to the 9th. Sure, why not? Both one extra day. Both research and development packs as well as bundles will be discounted. And you can see here the research and development pack, normally 300, is now 240. And the pack includes 15 common, uncommon. 15 uncommon, very rare. Six rare, very rare, four very rare, three mark two or better, three mark six or better, two mark ten, three random RD catalysts, four random upgrade accelerators. The research and development pack bundle, normally 1000, is 800. This pack includes four research and development packs. You will see four separate packs when making this purchase, not one pack that unpacks four. Finally, we're happy to announce that you'll be able to enjoy 20% off all the duty officer packs. Captains can select from the following duty officer packs for 20% off again from the 5th to the 9th. Interesting how they made that. Oh, sorry, it's not September 5th, it is all to the 9th. I read 8th. My apologies. I'm like, why the extra day? Which I just read wrong. My apologies. So that's actually the same time, the 5th to the 9th. So. The packs that are 20% off, again, is the Gamma, Reinforcements, Fleet Support, Romulan Survivor, Delta Alliance, Delta Federation, and Klingon packs. We hope you enjoy this promotion, Captain. So there is that. Again, that's on the console bridge. Next up, Star Trek Online is having console maintenance. And of course, this is already done. Estimated downtime is two hours. And here are the patch notes. Massive, massive. Resolve an issue that caused captains with full character slots to not be able to choose a species when using a captain alteration token. So this is something I still have yet to use and probably won't have to, to be honest with you, Caps. I had thought at this point they would be giving these out for free for us to try out, but I guess they're really just hanging on to them. Maybe in future events they'll say, hey, try this out when the actual luster is off of these things and people have already tried it and or for newer captains maybe just here you go so there's that that was a massive massive patch update for the console there so next up vanity shields are once again available for dilithium on pc for a limited time together with a 20 percent discount on dilithium ships and 35 percent on legendary items that is awesome so Dilithium and Legendary Sale. So on PC, save 20% on ships in the Dilithium store and 35% on Legendary Bundles we've released so far. So Captains, it's time to deck out your ship. We're making it easier to get your hands on some of our Vanity Shields for a limited time. 10 Vanity Shields. Now this is the same 10 since they launched this. I feel like they should add to this now which had previously only been available in locked boxes, will be appearing in the Dilithium store for a limited time. These shields will be per character purchase for 280,000 Dilithium. Now, I believe even though it says per character purchase, it's still a count. But my recommendation in case they do a nerf change from the last time, make sure that you claim it first or buy it on the character that you want it. And if it is able to switch between your tunes, then bonus. And of course, you can try that out by trying to put that vanity shield in the account bank there and see if it is transferable. 
And during the time these shields are available, all ships in the Lithium store will be 20% off. Grab the following vanity shields from September 5 to the 9th as well. So what's available? Well, same 10. Zenkethi, Discovery, Ferengi, Herc, Emperors, Section 31, Kelvin, Divergence, Borg, Bowl, and the Zot Vosh vanity shield. Now, personally for us, we went for the Zot Vosh, the Ba'ul. I believe we also got the Kelvin Divergence and Section 31. That's it. We just got those ones. And of those ones we got, the Section 31 and the Ba'ul really gives those stealthy looks, especially if you guys want to stealthify your ship. Fly the colors you chose, or choose, sorry, captains, although we know mostly choose black. See, they even know it there. This price may change the future runs of the sale if they occur. The ships of Star Trek are a character onto themselves, and we find ourselves attached to the ships that have become legendary. Now, you can own those legendary ships for a lot cheaper. So, from September 5th to the 9th, you can save 35% on all legendary bundles we've ever released, including the 10 ship legendary bundle. That's right, the anniversary bundle is back for a limited time, cap. And so, again, usually about four or five times a year, they'll do this, and 35% is probably the biggest one so highly recommend captains if you can participate and if you've been waiting here you go this sale is here for the legendary bundles get your hands on the ships that have come back with every look trait and console that had ever been released for them up to the point of their initial sale and take a captain up to level 65 instantly so again this goes on the pc or is going on now as of the drop of this video and up until September 9th. So there is that. And lastly, it's been almost 60 years since the day Star Trek first graced our screens. We're proud to celebrate with the return of our in-game museum. I love this image here. And that, of course, Captains, you already saw it. We're using it as the thumbnail of this video. But I absolutely love and adore this because it just shows all the ships here, the hero ships. Even though there has been some added ones, this is like still a good image right here. I, I just really can't help but not love that. So there's that, but we'll go here to the blog. So Star Trek Day. We're celebrating Star Trek's upcoming birthday with a special in-game museum of the Federation's history on all platforms. It would have been nice if they also gave us something. I don't know, I'm just saying. I don't know what. They could give maybe a holographic sort of hollow thing that you can use for a ship to disguise yourself or to look like any of the hero ships. That'd be kind of cool. Just in case. I don't know. Why not? Anyways, it's on September 8th, 1966, the world first met a group of people and a ship that would change our lives forever. 100%. Pitched as a wagon train to the stars and brought to TV by the force of Lucille Ball's will, Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek hit tiny television screens around the world and immediately captured hearts and minds. Through three seasons and decades in syndication, the original series started a movement that still lasts today. More than half a century later, we live in a time where there's more new Star Trek than ever before. And we're looking forward to celebrating the franchise's birthday soon with the rest of our Star Trek family. Who knows, they may still do something for us, Caps. Let's we'll have to wait and see. So from September 9th to the 20th on all platforms, there will be a special Starfleet Museum in orbit above Deep Space Nine and Earth Space Dock. The museum contains the starring ships from Star Trek movies, television, and more, hailing each ship who will give you words from their crew and both in universe and behind the scenes, facts about the ship and show. Hailing all 10 of the ships will grant you a special title, Historical Documents Expert. We hope you enjoy this celebration, Captains. Happy early Star Trek Day. So again, this is going to be from the 9th to the 20th, showing these wonderful, beautiful ships. Now, they say museum. All it is is these ships parked outside ESD. It would have been nice if they could use the museum that was in Star Trek Picard. Could you imagine? That would be awesome. I think personally be an excuse for them to just put that in game and a nice little nod to Star Trek Picard that we saw this museum there put, be put here in Star Trek Online but I mean all it is like I said they're just there in formation you know, kind of in a semi-circle 
there and it would be nice that they now add the titan or sorry the enterprise g and of course the other hero ship from prodigy it would just again just add it there and even the refit crossfield i think that they should add that but hopefully they maybe can take that in consideration for future ones but we'll see maybe they did it this time we'll just have to wait and see but that is all of the latest from the stove feed here so captains that do us a huge favor again hit that like button and comment below let us know which ship of the ships you see on screen right now of the hero ships that you see which is the one that you grew up with personally for us most of you know already it is the enterprise d the galaxy class that will always have a special place in my heart and will probably be forever my go-to ship whenever i just need to feel that star trek feel but i'd like to know which ships are your faves and which one actually is maybe your flagship of your fleet and also to those again who are new consider subscribing here and we'll leave it on this note live long and prosper.